guys, this is Mr. Anderson here for Science Lab 7, and today we're going to talk about earthquakes. But not just earthquakes, we're going to talk about earthquake safety, right? Knowing where earthquakes are likely to happen helps us to prepare. So let's look at ways to prepare for earthquakes, right? Uh, today we're going to look at what you can do before an earthquake, during an earthquake, and even after an earthquake. So, but first let's look at quake-resistant structures, because most loss of life is due to crumbling structures. People don't you know, die during an earthquake because they're shaken, right? Think of all the money people spend on rides, like at Six Flags, to get shaken around, uh, and, and, and they don't die typically, right? Uh, so when people die, loss of life during an earthquake is usually because of crumbling structures. To help make a, a structure more quake resistant, we can do things like reinforce the walls with steel bars. Uh, we can have flexible foundations and supports or shock absorbers in the building that can help make it more of a quake resistant structure. Now, before an earthquake, there are some things you can do to help get ready for it, right? Uh, number one, you can move heavy objects to lower shelves. Uh, you can learn how to shut off your utilities, like know how to shut off the gas, the electricity, and the water to your home. So if there's an earthquake, then you could shut those off once it's done shaking, once you get to sort of a safe area. Uh, also, securing the water heater to a wall. Uh, you can use something called plumber's tape. It's like a metal uh, strip that you can use to secure the water heater to a wall. That's definitely a good thing. You'd also do that to other major appliances if you're in a real uh, earthquake prone area. Um, also, now during an earthquake, during an earthquake, you could, um, if you're indoors, if you're indoors, I would say definitely move away from glass, move away from falling objects, try to get under something sturdy, like a sturdy desk or a sturdy table. Okay. Um, during an earthquake, if you are outside, you're going to want to stay away from things that might fall on you, right? Stay away from power lines and buildings and chimneys. Try to get out into the open. And, and you know, I would think maybe that might actually be kind of fun, be like shaking around during an earthquake if nothing's going to fall on you. And then finally, after an earthquake, after an earthquake, you're going to want to check your utilities. Check the gas, check the water, check the electricity for damage. Make sure that you know where those shutoff valves are so you can shut it off if there's a problem. If it's a bad earthquake and you're real, real worried about those kinds of things, leave the building. Call people to check it out. Um, but definitely be careful because things could still fall, right? Just because the shaking stopped doesn't mean things are stopped falling, all right? So today we've looked at a little bit about earthquake safety, right? Things you can do before and during and after an earthquake to be prepared for them. Well, this is Mr. Anderson signing off for Science Lab 7 saying, hey, stay curious.